Welcome to the Brandstand Woodwind Shop. A customer sent me some box Stradivarius trumpet valves that need some work. And there are the valves. There's one of the valves. And the reason he sent it in is because the valve stems are corroded and it looks like they're ready to break. Oh yeah, this one was broken off and it's corroded in there very badly. So I'm going to have to remove that. Okay, that one is corroded too. These valve stems may or may not break when I try to remove them. Uh, but anyway, they need to be replaced because these are going to break off soon if I do not replace them. Box Stradivarius parts are hard to get right now, at least at the making of this video. Um, I ordered some for my supplier and they were back ordered. I did buy out the contents of a music store in the state of Maine about a year ago and I looked through all those parts and I did find four of these valve stems. So I'm going to use three of them on this project. I'm going to start by trying to remove the valve stems that are still intact. There's a good chance that they're going to break when I try to get them apart though. I'm removing the finger button, the valve cap, and the felt. And then I'm going to put it in the bench motor and tighten that up. I'm going to try it by... okay, that came off easily. Or at least it started to come off easily. Okay, you need to be very careful when you do this not to destroy anything. If the valve stem gets messed up, that's okay because you're going to replace it anyway. But you do not want to rest, mess up the rest of the valve. I'm going to do the same thing with this valve. And we'll see if that one comes off as easily or not. Okay, that one... Okay, it, it did come loose. It took more effort, but it did come loose. Usually the valve stems do not break off like that, though. Uh, this is another valve. Well, it's one of my valves. I would never do this on a customer's instrument. This is the way the valve stems usually break. I will show you how to get both of these unstuck. The first thing I'm going to do is try to get that spring out of there because that spring is in the way. Usually you can save these springs, but if you cannot save them, they're easy to replace. So it's not usually a, a big deal. Okay, that spring is going to screw out of there. And then I'm going to get the valve guide out. Those things are out of the way, so now it's going to be easier to get that to work. What we have here is the bottom part of the valve stem, the threaded part. It is stuck in there and is very corroded. What happens with the corrosion is the metal oxidizes and that adds oxygen to the metal. So the metal actually becomes bigger. So what happens is it gets stuck in the threading and you need to work to get that out of there. It will not come out easily usually. You also need to be very careful not to ruin the threadings on the valve when you do this. So I'm going to start with a needle file. I'm going to take the triangular needle file, see it's shaped like a triangle, and I'm going to, you know, first of all, find a spot where there's not that much metal. And I'm going to file that down. And I'm being very careful not to go too far. I do not want to go into the brass on the valve. So, uh, see what I did so far? I filed that in, and it did not take much work to uh, to file that down. And I'm going to file a second spot. I'm looking for another uh, thin spot where there's not a lot of valve stem. Okay, I'll do it right there. And I'm going to do the same thing. Again, being very careful not to take off any of the metal on the valve. Just the metal on the valve stem. Okay, there now I have two little notches. What I'm going to do now is see if I can get that middle chunk out of there. I'm going to use a poker and a screwdriver, whichever one works. So I'm going to try to get that off. Okay, there. Part of it came off. Okay. Um, 
Well, it started to come off. I got a little bit off, but not enough. So I'm going to use the needle file again. And I have my file card, and what that does is it cleans off the files. And when you do a job like this, files get dirty very quickly. So I use that quite a bit. I'm going to file another spot in there. And I'm going to do as many of these as I need to to loosen this up. I got close to the threads in the valve without hitting the valve, and I really do not want to hit the valve. Okay, it took off a little bit more metal. So, I'm going to use the poker. That sometimes can get in the threads of the valve. And it cleans it up a little bit more. I filed several other slots in the valve stem. I'm trying to get it so that I can get part of it out. Uh, so what I'm going to do is try to uh, push on that some more. Um, okay, there. I got some of it out. Oh, still not all the way out, though. Not down to the, uh, to the valve. When I use the screwdriver, I am not prying on it because that can mess up the threads on the valve. What I am doing is I am pushing it with my thumb like that. So I am not using any prying motion. What I am doing is I'm trying to get down to the threads. Okay, it's getting pretty close there. Um, it's coming apart in layers more than it is uh, all at one time. So I'm going to use the poker to try to get down to the threads. And I probably will have to go the other direction too. This is coming apart in very small chunks. Usually it comes off in a little bit larger chunks and once you get part of it off, you can just go around with the poker and it comes right off. But this is not doing it, so I'm just going to keep filing it down and uh, trying to get more and more of the metal off with the poker and eventually it will be cleared out. There's another chunk that came off. And what I'm doing with the poker is I am going around the threads and cleaning the inside of the threads. I got most of it off and I'm finishing it up here. Oops, I bent the spring. Um, and it is it's coming off slowly, but it is coming off, so I should be done shortly. I got all of the valve stem off. Now I'm going to take the poker and uh, just like, unscrew it, kind of, and just follow the threads and work my way to the top to just clean out everything in there and then clean it up with a cloth. There, and that is good now. I'm still going to put this in the chemicals to finish cleaning off the rest of it, but the threading part is done. And now for the valve with the broken off valve stem. And this is almost always the way that you find them when they're broken. So what I'm going to do is get the spring out of the way. So I'm going to push the spring down and then put a screwdriver in there. Pull that out. I'm going to use the jeweler saw to cut some slots in the valve stem. I'm only going to cut the valve stem. I'm not going to cut into the valve itself. I'm going to cut the valve stem until I get to the valve, and then I'm going to stop. This would be a little easier to cut if I could put it in the vise, but I am not going to put it in the vise because that would ruin the valve. And I'm checking to make sure I don't go too far, and this might take a little while to cut. I'm also stopping and checking as I go to see how far the jeweler saw has gone into the valve stem. I'm going to keep cutting this until it goes down to the level of the valve and then I'm going to stop. I've cut the valve stem down to the level of the valve. Now I'm going to cut a slot parallel to that on the other side. And I'm going to do that the same way. Now I have two slots in the valve stem. I'm going to cut one perpendicular to those now. I cut some more slots in there and let's see if I've weakened it. Okay, there. There's part of it coming off and 
You can just take it off one part at a time. And usually these are not that hard to get off because they're already weakened enough by the corrosion. And now it's probably about weak enough that I can start taking parts off. Uh, I have a pliers and I'm being careful only to put the jaws of the pliers on the valve stem and not on the valve. Now I'm going to see if the pliers will take any of those parts off. Okay, it's starting to come off right there. Now the pliers will probably take the other parts off a lot easier. Okay, another one's loosened up there. Right, there it is. Okay, the whole thing is coming out now. There. If this part was in there, you could use the same technique that I used for the other valve. To put it back together, you put in the valve guide and the spring. And then what I do when I put the valve stem in, so I get a little bit of slide grease, put that on the valve stem, and that will keep it from uh, corroding in the future. And then the valve is finished. The only valve stems that corrode like that are the aluminum alloy valve stems. The brass valve stems do not do that. Usually the aluminum alloy valve stems last many decades, but sometimes they do corrode. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.